This question asks us to evaluate the square root of the quantity 16 times 20 plus 8 times 32. So the first thing I'll say is the very worst thing you could do is multiply all these numbers out and get the big number. Uh, please do not do any kind of multiplication that will wind up with three and four digit numbers on the GMAT. You never need to do that. There's always a simpler way. Now, before we take this monstrosity on, let's just review square root properties. If I'm multiplying two numbers, I can separate a square root by multiplication. But if I am adding two numbers, I cannot separate a square root by addition. That's a very important distinction. So right now we have an addition sign, and we have to be very careful about that. One thing we can do is factor out something from both terms. So for example, if I factor out a 16, that leaves 20 in the first term. And then if I factor out a 16 from the 32, that leaves 2. So I'm left with 8 times 2 in the second term. Well, now I can separate by multiplication square root of 16 times the square root of 20 plus 20 plus 8 times 2, which is 16. The square root of 16 is just 4 times the square root of 20 plus 16 is 36. Well, the square root of 36 is 6. So this is just 4 times 6, which is 24. Again, notice I was able to get through this entire problem only with two digit numbers. If you ever start doing anything that winds you up with three and four digit numbers, you are making it very difficult, much more difficult than it needs to be on the GMAT. 24 and the answer is B.